Welcome to another solid workout hosted by Graphic Systems. My name is Chris and this month I'd like to invite you to learn more about the analysis tools, the free analysis tools built into SolidWorks. This month we're going to look at structural analysis using Simulation Express and computational fluid dynamics analysis or flow analysis using the Flow Express analysis wizard. So let's get started. Both of these tools, as I mentioned, are free and built into every version of the product. So that means every SOLIDWORKS user has the ability to do first pass analysis on their SOLIDWORKS parts. Here we have a latch or part of a latch mechanism called the PAL, and we want to test it for strength. We also want to improve the design, and using the free tools built into SOLIDWORKS, we have the ability to do that. So let's begin understanding how to use the tool. First, we're going to launch the Simulation Express Analysis Wizard from the Command Manager. You can also launch it from the Tools menu pull-down. The wizard, as you can see, is tab-based with navigation buttons at the bottom. Let's begin by looking at the options. Here, we can choose what set of units we're going to work in and where we'll store the temporary files. Next, Simulation Express needs to know what material we want to use. Our material properties are very important. We can apply the material from within SOLIDWORKS or from within the Simulation Express tool. Our materials need to have certain structural properties, such as a density, Young's modulus of elasticity, and a yield strength. Let's make this out of a common alloy steel. I'll browse for the material, select it, and click Apply. If the material is missing any one of those important properties I mentioned, Simulation Express will warn us. Now we apply our restraints and our loads. Let's begin with the restraints. We simply tell Simulation Express how we want to fix this part. Let's select the inside face. The symbols indicate that the face will not allow any translations or any rotations. That's because Simulation Express is first pass analysis for static linear analysis on parts. Static meaning that the sum of the forces and the sum of the moments have to equal zero. Linear analysis means that we are only looking at the linear region of the stress strain curve for our chosen material. Having applied our restraint, let's move on to how we wish to load the model. And loads can be generated either as forces or as pressures. Let's apply a force acting on the inside face of the pawl. And we'll apply the force relative to a direction measured from a plane. Or we could apply it normal to that selected face. We'll pick normal to the reference plane, choose the right datum plane, and we want to apply the load in the outward direction as if something were tugging on it. So we'll flip the direction and we'll apply a 350 pound load. Simulation Express allows us to add multiple restraints and multiple loads. I think that's enough for now. And Simulation Express has enough information to begin the analysis. But I'd like to pause and show you the settings that we can change. The way that structural analysis works is it begins with our CAD model, our operating conditions, our materials, loads, and restraints, and then Simulation Express will break the model into numerous little finite elements. We call that meshing, and we can control the mesh with the slider bar. A coarser mesh means larger elements, means fewer equations to solve. A finer mesh means smaller elements means more equations to solve. 
We can also type in the element size and a tolerance. The tolerance, to illustrate what a tolerance is, is best thought of as a way to ignore small features. For example, if we had small little tapped holes running along the top of the part, and the diameter of the hole was smaller than the tolerance, then the mesh would ignore those holes and blow right over them. We'll accept the default values. And now we can run the analysis. Simulation Express just solved over 33,000 equations in about a second and a half. And the results are now available for us to look at. Starting with factor of safety. A factor of safety goes back to the yield strength of the material and what I said earlier about a linear static analysis. Here, think of the factor of safety as how many times above or below the yield strength of the material we are. So if we have a factor of safety of two, that means that the maximum stress that the part saw was only half of the yield strength of the material. Conversely, if we only have a factor of safety of 0.5, that means our maximum stress was two times the yield strength of the material. We have a very strong design so far, it would seem, as our factor of safety is 36 times. We can tell the software where we want to see areas below a particular factor of safety. We'll type in the value of 15 and click on Show Me. Quickly interrogating the model, we can see that we're nowhere near a factor of safety of 15 anywhere in the model. Before we move on to the results, let's really use this tool to our advantage. We can quickly go back and change aspects of this analysis. We could change the material, or we could change the boundary conditions, the restraints or the loads. Let's crank up the force. We'll edit our existing load, and instead of 350 pounds, we'll put in 1,500 pounds. Simulation Express shows us that the solution is no longer current, so that we need to rerun the analysis. But thankfully, it only takes a couple seconds. Now our factor of safety is 8.4. Let's see what areas of the model are below a factor of safety of 10. We can see where the load is applied in that transition from the curved face to the straight face. We have areas below a factor of safety of 10. We can continue interrogating the model. Factor of safety of 9 and a factor of safety of 8.